A very good morning, students. In this lecture, we are going to learn about a frequency domain image enhancement technique called as homomorphic filtering. This homomorphic filtering is used for image enhancement and it comes under a frequency domain technique. And this homomorphic filtering, it simultaneously normalizes the brightness across an image and increases the contrast. This is how it helps in image enhancement by normalizing the brightness and increasing the contrast simultaneously. It helps in image enhancement. The application areas of this homomorphic filtering includes, that is it removes certain kinds of noise called as multiplicative noise. And also it is used for correcting non-uniform elimination in images. Sometimes when an image is being acquired with the help of sensors, the illumination on the image will not be uniform. And due to this non-uniformity present in the illumination, the image that is acquired will not be good. It will not be pleasing. So in such cases, this poor illuminated image or non-uniformly illuminated images can be enhanced with the help of homomorphic filtering so that the image can be completely converted into an uniform illuminated, uniformly illuminated image. And also it improves the appearance of grayscale image by simultaneous intensity range compression, which is called as illumination and contrast enhancement, which is called as reflectance. So just by normalizing the brightness across an image by grayscale compression and increasing the contrast present in an image called as reflectance, this homomorphic filtering helps in image enhancement. And it is based on illumination reflectance model. Any image, it can be expressed as a product of two components, namely illumination component and the reflectance component. Let us see what is this illumination and reflection now. Illumination component is one in which the amount of source illumination incident on the object being viewed is denoted as I of X comma Y. So amount of source illumination incident on the object being viewed that is called as illumination component. Then next is reflectance component, which is nothing but the amount of illumination reflected by the object in the scene. And it is represented as R of X comma Y. So if we take an image and if the image is illuminated by a source, a part of light from the image, from the illumination source will be observed by the image and a part of it will be reflected back. And this amount of illumination that is reflected back by the object in the scene is called as the reflectance component. And any image can be represented as a product of these two, which is illumination and reflectance. So F of X comma Y is nothing but I of X comma Y into R of X comma Y. And the key approach in homomorphic filtering is to separate this illumination component and reflectance component. And this has been explained here. The object under the scene is nothing but the tree. The illumination source is the sun and light from the source is illuminating the, that is it is being incident on this object under scene. A part of light is being uh, observed by this object under scene, which is nothing but the tree and a part of light is reflected. And the eye, which is a sensor of a human body, it uh, receives both the illumination component as well as the reflectance component. Let us look into the steps involved in homomorphic filtering. Uh, as we know, this homomorphic filtering, it is a frequency domain technique in which um, the image in time domain has to be converted into its equivalent frequency domain for which we have to apply frequency that is a Fourier transform or discrete Fourier transform. But if you look into this image, representation of image, here, image has been represented as a product of two components, which is I of X comma Y and R of X comma Y. So if you have a product term like this, we cannot apply directly the Fourier transform. The reason is 
Fourier transform is not separable. It's one specific property of Fourier transform. So we cannot apply Fourier transform to this product term directly. It is not equal. Fourier transform of f of x comma y is not equal to Fourier transform of i of x comma y into Fourier transform of r of x comma y. So we have to convert the sum term into a product term before applying Fourier transform to this image f of x comma y. For that purpose, we are defining a new term called z of x comma y. And we are taking natural logarithm for this product. Whenever we apply logarithm to any product term, as per the formula, which is log of AB is equal to log A plus log B, the product term can very well be converted into a sum term. Similarly, so whenever we apply this uh, natural logarithm to this term, it's ln of x comma y, f of x comma y, which can be written as ln i of x comma y plus ln r of x comma y. In the very next step, we are computing the DFT because now we have converted the product term into a sum term. We can apply Fourier transform to this term now. So Fourier transform of ln of x of x comma y plus Fourier transform of ln of r of x comma y will get. We can separate these two. And this term, Fourier transform of ln of i of x comma y can be taken as f i of u comma v. And the Fourier transform of this ln of reflectance term can be represented as f r of u comma v. In the left hand side, we have Fourier transform of z of x comma y, which is z of u comma v. So we have separated the illumination component and the reflectance component now. After the separation is over, then in order to enhance the image, we are multiplying this separated, illuminated, and um, illumination and reflectance component with the filter function h of u comma v. So we are multiplying z of u comma v with this h of u comma v. And whenever this multiplication is over, whenever this product is over, we can name that particular image as enhanced image. And that enhanced image is represented here as S of U comma V, which is H of U comma V, which is the homomorphic filtering function. And Z of U comma V is nothing but the Fourier transform of sum of ln of illumination and reflectance component. We know that this z of u comma v is f i of u comma v plus f r of u comma v. So if we replace this z by this sum term, once this uh, it has been multiplied with this homomorphic function, we are going to end up with h of u comma v f i of u comma v plus h of u comma v f r of u comma v. So our image enhancement process is over. We have converted, that is we have separated the image into its reflectance component and illumination component. And we have applied Fourier transform. That is, we have converted the image from time domain to frequency domain. After this conversion, we have multiplied this um, Fourier transform of illumination and reflectance component along with the homomorphic filter function in order to get the, in order to generate an enhanced image. Now, this is the enhanced image. So once this process is over, then we have to go for all the reverse process because only for image enhancement purpose, we are doing all these. We are converting the image into its frequency domain. So once this is done, we have to go with the reverse process. And in step five, we are computing inverse DFT. Inverse DFT for this can be represented as S of X comma Y, which is inverse DFT of this. Likewise, inverse DFT of the first term, H of u comma v into f i of u comma v can be represented as i dash of x comma y and inverse DFT of the second term that is homomorphic filter with reflectance component can be represented as r dash of x comma y. So after taking inverse DFT, we are going to get i dash of x comma y plus r dash of x comma y. And in the very next step, we are going to convert again the sum term into a product term for which we have to take exponential because inverse of log is nothing but exponential. And we are representing it as g of x comma y, which is equal to e power, e raised to power s of x comma y. And s of x comma y is nothing but i dash of x comma y plus r dash of x comma y, which can be expressed as product e power i dash of x comma y into e power r dash of x comma y. And this e power i dash of x comma y is nothing but the elimination component of output image, which can be represented as i naught of x comma y. And this is e dash e power r dash of x comma y is nothing but 
the reflectance component of output image, which can be expressed as R0 of X, Y. So the entire process of homomorphic filtering is being done and we are going to get the enhanced image. And this entire steps, all the steps that we have discussed so far has been put into a block diagram like this. That is, we are having an input image taking natural logarithm of it. And this input image is split into its illumination and reflectance component. In order to convert the sum product term into sum, we are considering logarithm of it. Then we are taking Fourier transform and multiplying it with the homomorphic filter function and completing all the reverse process of taking inverse DFT and exponential. We are going to get the enhanced image again back in the time domain itself, which is represented here as G of X comma Y. So this is the original picture before. That is, it is purely, it is of poor elimination. Original picture. And once this picture is applied to homomorphic filter, then after enhancement, the image is appearing like this. So I hope you have understood the basic concepts of homomorphic filtering. Thank you.